Welcome to the 90s. Get ready for balls to the wall and adrenaline in this installment. Welcome back to Smash Rama, where we play the main games in every series of Super Smash Bros. And today we will look at the most insane action ever packed on a Nintendo cartridge. The premise of this game is simple. Choose one of four hovercrafts to race at Mach 5 speeds across 15 tracks, split up into three leagues. The execution is where it all comes down to it. This game, even on easy, is absolutely intense and you will try over and over and over again. All the while soaking into the futuristic, brooding, heavy metal atmosphere inspired by 1990s early Iron Age comics. Otherwise under the Dark Age, because of its heavy emphasis on gritty and dark and brooding characters. In particular, though inspired by 1986's Watchmen and the Dark Knight. The only issue I have with this otherwise phenomenal launch title for the Super Nintendo is that there's no end credit, no congratulations on being the final level, which is an awesome final boss, by the way, Firefield. Not even Captain Falcon stepping out of the blue Falcon for a single frame. I feel that is all down to memory constraints, because otherwise this is an excellent game, especially for fans of Frank Miller comic books and Nintendo games combined. Overall, I saw three leagues out of four racers. Play it. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Comment down below and tell me what guys you guys want to see soon. Next time we reach the technical end of the 80s, since there is no year zero, we're going to go back and fill in one particular gap in the 80s, or technically early 90s, I guess. See you then.